Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. And today guys, I'm coming to you from Green Island and I want to talk to you about my Theo and Harris strap. And why is it on my Reverso instead of on my Calatrava? And I got to tell you the truth, this Theo and Harris strap, it's one of the first really expensive straps this is not a it's not a cheapy it's not a cheapy by any means uh, if you go to the theo and harris um, website you can see that this was specially designed this is the type one uh peppered well, mustard calf and a lot of thought and planning has gone into this um it's got the beautiful red back um, and it's it's dual signed. It's got Theo and Harris, and it's also got the designer, an Italian leather maker in New York. Now, why did I end up putting it onto my Reverso? Well, there are a number of things that happened. Basically, I was trying to tone down my one of my paddock Calatravas. And then I got it and I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. Uh, it's funny, you buy the strap specifically for the Calatrava and it, it's not really anything Theo and Harris did to make it not sort of pop. It was more so, I just, just think I missed the mark. The other thing is, is I'm a bit of a fussy fucker. Uh, the spring bar lugs there. It's got the special levered spring bar lugs. Uh, on the paddock, you know, I worry about them being steel and, you know, I, I wanted to interchange those with my paddock spring bars, but that's a drama. The other thing is, is that with the paddock, I just got a new um, paddock strap and I thought, you know, what I want to do is I really want to tone down my reverso because it just came back from service from watch tech that's in brisbane uh watch tech is the service division of uh vintage watch co watch tech and it came back beautiful and i thought to myself you know i really want to tone it down the problem with the jager la Coltra strap is it has a deploy and not deploy Ant, deploy ant, deploy ant, not deployment, not a deployment buckle. But it has the, the steel JLC and it, it's just not that comfortable. And it came with a black, I got a black alligator, which is rather formal, very, very formal. And I think I've got the paddocks for formal things. I'd rather tone down my JLC. And I've actually taken this on two trips. The first trip was to Singers, Singapore. And the second trip has been to Cairns. And I've got to honestly, the reason I'm making this video is it just works so damn well. Whereas uh, the paddocks, the precious men, I like to just know when I'm on holidays or traveling, I like to know they're away and safe. The steel reverso, however, I want to use the damn thing. And I've got to be honest with you, I think this strap absolutely works. It is nailed. They nailed it with this reverso. Why is that so? Well, it's because the levered, um, the levered pins, the genuine JLC ones, they didn't have levered pins. So levered spring bars. So that is an improvement. Uh, it's steel and it's using steel spring bars. Perfect. I didn't really like the uh, the de <clears throat> deployant clasp. It's got a buckle, and what I love about it is it's actually very very high quality. It's really high quality. Uh, I'm not getting paid by Theo and Harris. Before you people say he's a shill, he's a shill. Uh, well, I'm not actually getting anything out of it. I bought the strap. Um, 
And I've got to say, it is quality. It's not falling to bits. Like I've had some cheapies. They kind of fall to bits from putting them onto the buckle. It's actually incredibly elegant. And I've got to tell you, it just works. It really, really works. Um, I've, I've kind of, you know, with the straps, I've never really gone into these expensive straps, but uh this theo and harris strap with the the christian louboutin sort of red sole i think is a fucking amazing idea uh i love the quality the peppered peppered mustard i mean uh i i'm 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 really wrapped in this strap and it's funny sometimes you buy they call it buying new shoes for a wristwatch and it doesn't kind of pop it doesn't sort of work but it really does work on this Jega Le Coutre. I think it's it's brilliant. And I'm 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 really happy that I went out of my comfort zone, got this strap, and um, it just works beautifully. I love it. I love it. Uh, th th this is a watch. My JLC, I must admit, in recent years, I haven't been wearing too much. And Partly the reason was I didn't want to damage the black alligator um, JLC strap. So by, by putting on a Theo and Harris strap, they're a lot, lot cheaper. And they are a quality strap still. It's very different. It's not fat. The JLC strap's kind of a puffy kind of uh, strap. That This actually just contours in beautifully. Uh, I, I think it's... It's just, it's, it's quaint and unusual. I, I really love it. I love it. And um, it's, I was traveling, I, I was traveling economy to Singers and I had, I was sleeping on the plane. I had my JLC on, it was quite, quite, quite okay. I wasn't worried or it didn't get damaged. It was, it was very comfortable, very, very enjoyable having it on like that. Um, I've got to tell you, honestly, there's uh, there are, there is a number of uh, more expensive straps. I'm thinking about trying a combat straps. Clyde keeps saying combat straps, combat straps. Uh, you know, I I kind of yeah, I think I I will try one. Um, it's it you, you've got to you got to get the right feel. You know, it's 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 for me. I'm, I I got to be honest with you. Would I, would I get any more straps? Well, put it this way, okay? On my Rolex itself, it is, because it doesn't have the no holes case, it's a real bitch to take the bracelet off. So I'd probably say, hey, just, just leave the fucking thing on the bracelet. My Padex, um, my World Time and my Annual, I kind of want to just safe queen those at the moment. So I'd probably just leave them on the original straps. My two Calatravas I've got, um, I kind of enjoy them on the paddock strap, I really do, but this JLC, it, I love it. I love it on this, this Theo and Harris strap. So it's kind of different, you've got to get the right fit. And it's kind of funny, because I, I, I thought this would be great for the Calatrava. When I got it, I thought, ooh, no, I'm not really that happy with it. Put it on the reverso, and I thought, fuck, this, this works, it works. And I got an extra long strap, because I'm, I'm a bit, you know, a little bit bigger than normal, and, and it fucking, it ta tapers in beautifully, it's elegant, I really do love it. So um, I, I can't speak more highly enough about it. Uh, check out the Theo and Harris site there. I don't get any kickbacks now, I'm just... I just thought it's a nice strap. That's, that's all it is. I mean, not everything is about money from other people. I mean, I mean, um, people get the wrong impression there. But I, if it was garbage, I'd tell you it was garbage. But I, I, I actually love it. I love it. I really do love it. So that's a bit of an update, a travel update. My Theo and Harris Type 1. Tell me what you think. Um, put some comments below. Like, subscribe. Tell your friends and put a few comments down below. I'm Paul Pluter. Tell me what you guys think of that.
Great vid, Arch. Great vid.